Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're going to do a let's play and review for Forensic Edgy Sim VR, a game released today on the Steam Store, August 26, 2021, for the officially for the HTC Vive, Valve Index, and Windows Mixed Reality. However, I can confirm it does work perfectly fine on the Oculus Quest 2 using the Oculus Link cable. This game normally retails for 99 cents. I bought it at that price. And this is supposed to be like a, you know, forensic simulator. <laughs> it's a pretty cool idea. For only 99 cents, I said, why not? Um, although I will say there's not a lot of content. I basically did everything you could do, I think, in this game in about 11 minutes. So it didn't take very long to get through the content. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's get started now. This is meant as an educational app, so, you know, there is no story. Uh, you have a scenario, and then you go to the lab, and that's it. Um, you are limited in what you can do, but the things you can do are pretty cool. So let's bring up our forensic simulator, uh, I guess, inventory. So obviously, first thing we need to see, so get that headlamp on. Second thing I've seen in... Uh, I've seen enough that I know that uh, you're supposed to secure the scene. So let's go ahead and secure the scene. So um, there's police do not cross. So we need some over here as well. So let's go over here. Let's secure the scene. Secure this. Uh. Now uh, you only have teleport, although you can snap turn. Although for whatever reason, once I was in the lab, I couldn't snap turn anymore. So, okay, we secured the scene. All right. This is uh, John Doe, dead body, apparent uh, laceration. See the murder weapon right there, a knife. And uh, I'm like 90% sure he's dead, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna touch him. <laughs> I'm just, hey buddy, are you dead? Okay, yeah, I think he's dead. So. <laughs> Uh, what is the first thing you do after you, you secure the scene? Well, obviously, let's put on our gloves. All right, we don't want to contaminate the scene. We want to be careful not to step on anything that might have probative value. So let's go ahead and let's start. Uh, let's first, before we do anything, let's take a photo so that we can tell exactly what the scene looked like before we started disturbing it. All right, so we took a photo. That's the original photo. And we probably want to put a one to indicate, you know, this is where the dead body is. All right, so let's, uh, let's go a little bit further back. All right, and let's take another photo because I forgot to do that. So one. All right, all right, all right. So now, um, I think we want to secure the weapon, right? So the weapon goes there. Let's pick up the weapon. I am playing this seated. You probably want to play this standing, but you know I don't want to crouch down and stuff. So let's put the knife in the container. Boom goes to evidence. Ooh, there's a. This might be probative. May not be. This looks like a dirty city. So who knows? This might just be trash. That doesn't not even relevant to this. But let's just assume it might be. So let's go ahead and put the towel with blood stains in the paper bag. Let's see if it's related to this case or not. Okay, so we got some pill bottles. I don't know if those are, that's relevant to this case, but let's go ahead and uh, start taking. Okay, all right, evidence here. We put, can we put more than one evidence? Oh, okay, we put the green. We're gonna take the pills as well. Oh, uh oh, wet storage. So apparently that's the wet storage. So get rid of this. Where are the drugs I just dropped? <laughs> oh no. Mm, okay, it doesn't matter. Does it matter? Pill one. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, for whatever reason, there's an SD card over here. That's weird. Why would there be an SD card at the scene of a crime? All right. Well, let's let's go ahead and let's put into dry evidence. 
Okay. Sorry. And for whatever reason, there's... Envision Police Department. <laughs> Why would I have dropped... Okay, I don't know if this is... Is that mine? Oh, I'm not doing a good job of... And why is there an in? Uh oh, it looks like one of our one of our own might have been the culprit. <laughs> oh no, coffee mug in. Okay, all right. Okay, so I think that's it as far as around the body so let's go ahead and let's chalk this up let's see if we can do this okay and i have to sorry sorry guys i'm not very good at getting down okay all righty let's chalk it up Not the best chalk job ever. Uh oh. Looks like a little wet spot over here. <laughs> On our little John Doe. Now you think those pencils are relevant? You know what? Um let me let me chalk let me finish chalking them up and then I'll tag that as evidence too, just just in case. I didn't think that was evidence, but it might be. Now, obviously teleport only and snap training is not the best. There's no graphic options at all. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't check what game engine, engine this was running on. If I have to guess, I would guess Unity, but I might be completely wrong. So I don't know what engine this game is running on. Um, I do have a few frame rate drops though. Uh, 90 for the most part, but a f drop here or there, nothing major. It's it's running okay. Anyways, let's let's get rid of the shock now. Shock now. Okay. So uh, two. I guess the weapon was here, right? I should have put that earlier. And the drugs were over here. We're gonna put three for drugs. I'm gonna put these in evidence even though I don't think they're relevant but let's just see green pencil yellow pencil okay okay now let's take some photo oh actually let's measure oh you know what we should have used a ruler for the weapon oh well it doesn't matter let's go ahead and measure that's uh, from the feet yes all the way to the head Okay, 1.784 meters, okay. And let's take some photos. Okay, so let's take more photos. Okay, let's take some aerial photos as well. All right, all right. So let's go ahead and is there anything else? The magnifying glass. What is the magnifying glass for? Maybe we want to look at his injury. Okay, yep, definitely a knife wound. It's most definitely a white knife wound. So let's pick up the body. Ah, so let's see who our John Doe here is. It's uh, Jawa Donnelly. All right, Mr. Donnelly, think you're dead. I think that's all. I don't think there's anything else here at the crime scene. So let's go ahead and tag this as evidence. And let's go to the lab. Okay, so we're at the lab. Now, one thing I noticed, there's a tool for dust brush, but it doesn't work. You can view your crime scene photos. You can see it's loading our crime scene photos. And you just point and click at them. Oh, look at my beautiful foot. Oh, wow. That's, that's awesome. I like taking pictures of dead bodies. I'm just joking. That's not true. <laughs> or is it? <laughs> okay. 
So, uh, there's not much to do here. Now, the snap turning doesn't work here. You only have teleport. I don't know why. As far as I can tell, there's not much to do now. You can put the SD card here. And you can look at different photos. And I don't know what this means. Uh, looks like the Mexican flag symbol there. Lots of guns. Lots of uh, drugs. Some plants. Uh, looks like Colombia. Alright, well. And um, the only thing else you can do is look at the fingerprints flashlight, which does work. And you can see there's some fingerprints there. And there's a fingerprint there. And I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else to do. So that's the whole game. Um, unless I'm missing something, I don't think there's anything else you can do. So this is uh, Fast Lawyer. This has been my, my Let's Play and initial impressions for uh, Forensic Edgy Sim. Um, it's only 99 cents, so I didn't have big expectations. Um, and my small expectations were met. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure how educational it is. It's a little too simple to be educational. <laughs> uh, but who knows? Maybe someone who knows absolutely nothing about uh, crime scenes might find this useful as an educational tool. Um, but yeah, it really lacks depth, especially in the lab portion. You know, it says DNA analysis, fingerprint analysis. I mean, I guess you can put the coffee cup there, uh, but you can't even get the knife. So I don't know. Where does this go? Miscellaneous evidence? And the pills go where? DNA? Well, I don't know. So, yeah, you can't even pick this up. So, <laughs> And I don't think you can pick up this either. Yep, you can't pick it up. So anyways, yeah, it's missing a lot of features. It, it's very basic, but it's only 99 cents. So I do recommend it. Um, it's hard to score something like this. It is novel. It is unique. Something interesting in VR. And for 99 cents, you can't really expect much. So if I have to rate this at this point, I would give it a 7 out of 10. I definitely got my money's worth of entertainment. Uh, but like I said, I wasn't expecting much. And, uh, you know, it's okay for what it is. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. This has been my Let's Play and Review. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.